All right, friends, in studio with us, we have the ever debonair, the wonderful, and the person who's not going to make fun of my speech impediment today, uh, the wonderful team member, family member, and one of my favorite people in the world, Natalie Deutsch with Hatch Realty. So good morning, Nats. Good morning. Are you making fun of me yet? No, not on air. Okay, off air, though? <laughs> yes. Quite a bit. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Natalie, you're a new mom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a weird. You kind of shocked me there for a second. Yes, we uh, we just um, got our new puppy this weekend, and she's great. <laughs> there's there's some sarcasm when you say she's great. She is. I mean, she's adorable. She's a little wiener dog. Her name is Blanche, and she uh, really does not like to sleep at night. Yeah. Uh, during the day, she loves it. She's great, and then at night, she um, has zero desire whatsoever to sleep. I feel like your dog and my new son. Are the same. Yeah, yeah. They could be best friends. Oh, good. Well, yeah. sweet. New best friends. But we get to lock ours in a gate. Do you do that with your son? No. I mean, no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, that was a trick question. Yeah, it was. And I don't. So, <laughs> okay, good. So good, good to hear. So we're good. Uh, Natalie, what do you do with us at Hatch Realty? Um, I'm a listing agent, so I list homes. Okay. Uh, all day long. All day long. That's but, all I do. What do you do at night? What do I do at night? I still list homes. But when you're not with Hatch Realty, what do you do? How, how do you um, how do you bring some joy and light into your life? Well, I am part of a really great improv comedy troupe known as the Line Benders. You're like the improv comedy troupe of North Dakota. Right? Uh yes, 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 we are. Uh, we are the improv troupe. So, what is improv comedy for people that don't know? Um, improv comedy is, um, you know, everything is made up on the spot. So we do a lot of games. We do long form. We do short form, which is what most people are familiar with if anybody's seen like Drew Carey's Whose Line Is It Anyway? Awesome, yeah. We do um, games similar to them. You know, uh, we take a suggestion from the audience. Uh, we call them springboards. And okay. then we just make it all up on the spot from there. But is it is it just you on stage as a one-person show? It's, is it a whole team? No, it's a whole team. So we have um, right around 11 members that are constantly rotating in line benders. And so, you know, we do four to five person shows um, and – you know, we constantly get new people in. We have old people that used to perform with us. And so it's constantly rotating. But um, typically we have four to five people on stage with us. So what is it that you love about improv comedy? Um, the uncertainty of it. You know, um, I've tried stand up before. It was OK. Um, I, but <laughs> That's I, a tough gig, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And you're up there all by yourself. And not, not that I, you know, I'm not confident enough on my own, but having a team up there with you in order to help you out, you know, we're there to support each other. The goal is not to make yourself the most funny person on stage. It's to help the other person become the most funny wow. on stage. That's a that's a huge asset in and of itself, isn't it? Is, yes. is the ability to make somebody else shine. Right. Yep. So how would you make me shine as I'm here with a speech impediment and a lisp today? I would remove the braces. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. It's, You're welcome. Yeah, give it a year and a half or two years and I will be shining. Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, those of you just tuning in, Natalie Deutsch, listing agent with Hatch Realty and also a superstar with the Linebenders Improv Comedy Troupe. Why are we talking about Linebenders today? Well, because Linebenders is going to be performing at one of our Hatch client events. So... so before you dive in too deep, what is a Hatch client event? Client events are when we give back to our clients, to the people that we've helped out through the last year, two years, three years, and all the people in the community that we really want to want to connect with. We give back by doing these big events for them. And you don't have to be a client, either past or present. You can just be a fan or a friend or a supporter or a family member too, right? Right. Anybody can come. So what are some other client events that we've done uh, besides an improv comedy night? Um, well, we did Hatch Stock this last summer mm -hmm. where we had a band and we had food out in our parking lot and a bunch of games. We had 1,200 people come to that now. Yeah, it was huge. Yeah, it was giant. Yes. What else have we done? We did Date Night, which was um, an evening where you could come and you could pick up a pizza, a beverage of your choice, and a Netflix movie. Mm -hmm. And you got to you didn't have to come and enjoy it with us. You got to go home and enjoy it with your family if right. you wanted to. Right, Wait. yeah. Most people don't want dates with us is what no, you're saying. No, no, no. <laughs> Traditionally, no. <laughs> uh, except our dog and son. Right, right? Yeah, exactly. Which is lovely. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we've done client events. We tried to do eight a year, which mm -hmm. is every 45 days roughly. And now our big fall event, our big kickoff event is happening on September 22nd at 7.30 p.m. The Linebenders Improv Comedy Troupe take over the Fargo Theater. What do people have to expect that night? Um, just to expect to have a good time. You know, we do a lot of audience participation, so you might get pulled up on stage. 
and, you know, just to have a really good time, relax and laugh. Okay. Uh, how long is this show traditionally? Um, we do shows anywhere between, you know, an hour to an hour and a half. I believe this one's a 90 minute show. So I hope so. I think so too. Um, and yeah, we've, we've done shows for longer than that. We've done shows for shorter time periods than that, but this one should be 90 minutes. What's your favorite, uh, skit that you do? They're not skits. I'm sorry. They are games. What's your favorite <laughs> game that you do? Go ahead and correct me. That's I'm, wonderful. Yeah. Um, I really like to play um, That Darn Whistle. It's a game where um, I like to MC it because I have a control problem. So yes, I've noticed. I like to be in control. <laughs> and with that game, you, you know, two people are on stage. They're doing a scene together. And if they say something that I don't like, I blow the whistle. And they have to change whatever they just said until they say something I like. Okay, uh, and I've seen that game. Uh, it's not a skit. I've seen that game, uh, and it's hilarious. Yes. And and I love your control freak. Uh, uh, at least you're in touch with who you are. Yeah, I mean, you might as well be honest. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, so, Natalie, uh, how much does it cost for people to go to this event? This costs zero dollars. For free. It is full free. For free. So how do people, if they are listening and want to join us on September 22nd, how do they sign up so we know who's coming? Um, They can just go to our website at livefargomorehead.com and it'll give you all the details there and you can get registered. Uh, super easy. Uh, it costs you nothing. We're working on trying to get you some free popcorn and soda too. We, Whoa. we, yeah, yeah. Big deal. Yeah. That's huge. Big deal. And this event is just two weeks away. So make sure that you sign up, go to livefargamorehead.com. See the line benders, uh, North Dakota's best improv comedy troupe. Natalie will be on stage delighting your ears and, and having some fun too. And you have to get pulled up if you, if you don't want to. No, but we'll really encourage you to come up on stage. Right. But there's going to be hundreds of people in the room. And right. if you want to just blend into the crowd, you sure can. Yep. But if you point to somebody, we'll likely choose you. Okay. <laughs> so get your pointing fingers ready. Natalie, stick around because I want to talk about the real estate market. But for now, go to livefargamorehead.com, find out what your home is worth, and sign up for the Lime Menders event on September 22nd. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio. As always, I'm your host, Eric Hatch. And with us in studio is Hatch Realty's own superstar listing agent, Natalie Deutsch. Natalie, where in the heck have you come from to end up here working at Hatch Realty? Well, I was teaching before and I bartended for a long time. It's a perfect combination of teaching yeah, and bartending. I mean, hey, I, <laughs> I was teaching preschool and I was bartending to college kids. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but they don't get timeouts, unfortunately, when they're bars. But they should. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They That's perfect. Should. And you worked uh, where as a bartender? At the Bison Turf. Uh, how are you doing with it being burned down? It's been emotional. It's been, you know, every time I drive by there, I get a little bit of, uh, you know, my heartstrings play a little bit. But, uh, you know, they're going to rebuild and, and it'll be great. I'm excited to see what's coming. I am too. That. I really am. <clears throat> and, and so there's a chance for people to rebuild if your house burns down. But for most of us, we don't have a chance for a house to burn down. And I don't recommend it for anybody. Uh, but if, if you are wanting something new, uh, oftentimes you need to sell in order to buy or you want to remodel. Last week we had Tim Rosine with studs to rugs and I wish it didn't have an S in it so I didn't sound uh, so <laughs> silly when I said it. Uh, but we had Tim Rosine in studio talking last week about remodeling your house. But now let's talk about selling your house. What do you have to do in today's market, Nat, in order to make sure you're getting top dollar and selling very quickly? Um, you've got to be priced correctly. So, you know, the way that we price homes is we pull comparables from anything in the last year to six months, preferably six months. I mm -hmm. uh, you know we price out uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, garage stalls, square footage, and then we start looking at updates. So if you're going to want more money out of your home, that then doing those updates that really increase the value of your home is the best way to go about doing that. What's the one thing that you could tell people considering selling their home right now? What's the one thing that you could tell them to say, this is what you should do in order to, like, this is the one fix, the one change you should do in order to freshen up your house when it comes time to sell? Uh, definitely if they've got older carpets or they've got, mm -hmm. you know, uh, crappy linoleum or things <laughs> yep. like that is, you know, those little updates that you can do, they're usually going to not be that expensive to do, but they totally change the feel of your home and you want people to walk in and feel like it's home instead of it feeling like oh now i know we have to do this before we even feel like we're at home you know i i agree with you 100 percent, and i didn't even tee that up for you uh i think that flooring is like the thing that that is the easiest fix that gives your house a whole new feel to it when you walk into somebody's house you look down right because mm -hmm. you need to find your path 
And if there's stains or if it's old and ragged, you're really going to have a hard time showing off your best assets, right? Right. Okay, so if carpet is the thing that people need to do and change their linoleum, you can get by with a buck or a buck fifty a square foot. It's actually a pretty low price. Right. But what's happening in today's market, Nat? I mean, are our homes still flying off the shelves? Is it still a seller's market or is it starting to balance out? Um, we're seeing it balance out a little bit, but it, at the same time, not really. I mean, I had two houses let, just this last weekend that went into multiple offers. So mm-hmm. we're still seeing that competition in town. And as long as you have the house priced correctly, there's no mm-hmm. way that the market's going to allow you to get less for that home. And people are going to come after that home if they know it's priced correctly. So let's say I own a house and uh, I say I want 200000 for it. You say we should list it at one ninety. Why should I list it at one ninety if the market's so hot somebody's going to pay two hundred? A lot of times, if you overprice, thinking that you know, let's just start here and then we'll have some wiggle room to come down, you're going to get less for your home when it when it sells because people are going to see it sitting on the market longer. If you price it aggressively, people are it's going to just breed the competition. So you're likely to get more for your home because people will will go into multiple offers and we can bring that price up. So give me an example of something that happened. You said you had two homes going to multiple offers this last weekend. Right. What did you price them at? What did they sell at? And, and what's, this, what's the story with those? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm S's are tough. I got it. Right. <laughs> um, we had a great, you know, fixer upper that we had in South Fargo and it just had a ton of action over the weekend. You know, there's showings pretty much every hour on the hour wow. and we priced it you know at uh 155 knowing it needed some work it was a great investment home and it went into multiple offers we ended up getting four on the table these ones came all in at cash and we were able to sell it at full price with no inspection and with a quick close that's a big deal it's huge especially for you know my client he doesn't live here and so to know that we were able to take care of all of that and facilitate it with him while he's down in Texas with with his family it, it just worked out great how much did he want for the house um, 150 150 and you got him 155 sure did cash yep no inspection nothing quick close yep Okay, how about the other one? The other one was one that we actually went back on market with, and we had priced it at 138. We had been on market for a couple of weeks, and we were able to get it in with two different offers. Went back and forth for a little bit, ended up getting there at 137, which is just a little bit under the, what they wanted. But it, or what they originally priced at, what they wanted was just something to feel comfortable with. And when they got the 137, they were more than happy with it. Yeah, it's it's tough if somebody says they want 170. Right. For for their house that's 135 or even 155, right? I'd love to get them 170 for right. every house. Our goal is to to fill people's pockets with cash. Right. As fast as possible. But that doesn't mean that you put that dream price out there. The market will bring and bear the best possible price, but you can't overprice a house. It's it's the main thing, right? Mhm. So uh, what final tip can you give for somebody? If it's pricing, if it's carpet, give us one more insider track so somebody can maximize their dollars on their house. I would say, you know, looking into making sure that your cabinets are updated. There's such little things that you can do to make things look updated, like adding new hardware or even, you know, adding a a new coat of stain or some sort of painting. You know, that's huge right now Mm -hmm. is people just Mm -hmm. painting cabinets instead of having an entire new new cabinetry put in, which, I mean, Mm. my parents just did it and their house looks great. So I can definitely attest to that. You know, it just adds, it just adds a different looking point for people. Well, there's a lot of ways to freshen up. I want you to talk with us, uh, 369-4839, or go to livefargomorehead.com to connect. Natalie, we will see you at the Lime Benders September 22nd. Uh, anybody who's interested in listing your home, Natalie could be the one uh, to get your home listed and sold and multiple offers and lots of cash. Uh, she is a superstar, so it's great to have you with us, Nat. Thanks. It's been fun. Uh, you bet. Uh, hey, go to livefargomorehead.com one last time.